Good evening everyone. Welcome to AS Engineering Academy. This is Ramesh Pabba, Faculty of Measurement Subject. Now we are going to discuss the topic, right, CRO and DVM. Yesterday we have done one session on the important concept or important topic that is error analysis and basic instruments. Now in this today's session we are focusing on CRO and DVM. Especially speaking, CRO chapter itself is somewhat bigger chapter. But in this session, in this today's session, I am going to take one of the topics from CRO and what is the concept and how to measure unknown parameters, etc. We are going to discuss in detail. But before going to that, let us have small brief idea about CRO and what we are going to measure. With that, we are going to have corresponding questions also. After that, we are going to take DVM, what are the types of digital altimeters and after that, all digital altimeters which are available according to the SSCJE level, I am going to take all in detail and let us solve few questions also. Therefore, you will be getting an idea about CRO as well as DVM. Clear? Now let us start. Here, CRO and DVM. Now first of all, so what is CRO? What is the CRO meaning first of all? It is an electronic instruments. First point is CRO is an electronic instruments. Right from the CRO, we will be getting the values. We will be getting the corresponding output in terms of graph graphical representation, or we can say image plotting concept. So that's why be clear. It is an electronic device, and it is peak electronic voltmeter. Also, we can say, sir, on the CRO, if the waveform is displayed. And the CRO, if the waveform is displayed automatically, we can observe from positive peak to negative peak. So therefore, simply it is a peak electronic voltmeter and electronic beam voltmeter. Nothing but in this complete operation is based on the electron beam from generating point to striking the screen. The entire concept is. Involved with respect to electron beam, that's why it is called as electron beam voltmeter. And image plot, I told you, right? If you see the CRO screen, one waveform will be displayed. Simply, we can say one image will be plotted. Yes, image plotter or waveform display, we can say. And with this CRO, right? What is it? AC and DC both can be measured. That's why CRO works for both AC and DC inputs. This is the total introduction regarding CRO. Now, sir, in this CRO, the important part. What is the main part of the CRO? The main part of the CRO is called CRT, cathode ray tube. Cathode ray tube. Okay. Just <clears throat> before continuing. Those who are on the line, kindly respond, guys. Is my voice, audio, and video everything is clear? Or any problem? Kindly let me know, so that any modifications we can make. Right. Okay. Everything is going well. Okay. Now, sir, cathode ray tube. Right. Now, the point is, in this, what do you mean by cathode ray tube? Or what is the working principle of cathode ray tube? Means the the <coughs> this CRT is with respect to two, one principle called as thermionic emission. Thermionic emission. Okay. But in the CRO, what is the role of this CRT? You know, whatever the corresponding, what is the waveform shaping, right? Corresponding sine wave or some other waveform, etc. Shaping everything will be done in the done in the CRT only. That's why. This is called as heart of the CRO. Without CRT, there is no function of CRO. That's a simple way we can say it is the heart of CRO. And its working principle is, I told you, know, thermionic emission. What do you mean by thermionic emission? Means emission of electrons. Emission of electrons from a metallic surface or from a surface. Under the influence of therm, therm means heat. So therefore, electrons will be emitted from a surface with the influence of heat. So that is called as thermionic emission. This is also very, very, very popular question in the SSCJE level. And I am repeating this entire conceptual explanation will be in the level of SSCJE only. That's why yes, overview I am giving here. 
but in detail explanation everything is available in AS online platform right now see emission of electrons from a metallic surface under the influence of heat therm means heat so therefore with the influence of heat we are going to get the corresponding electron emission with that for, with that emission of electrons only crt is operating that's why it's working principle its working principle is thermionic emission okay sir this is cro it is an electronic voltmeter told you voltmeter means should have voltmeter should have high impedance or less impedance means voltmeter should be always always designed with high impedance or we can say high resistance we can say in the same way cro also has the impedance of very very high in the order of mega ohms we can say that's why based on this basic concept right let us have one or two small questions which are related to the ssc je level so this is a simple question the input impedance of a cro is nearly i think but he is asking yes impedance of a cro CRO is an electronic voltmeter, so therefore, sir, zero, not at all. Around 10 ohms, it is less only. Around 100 ohm, it is also less only. That's why, yes, which is suitable option for this? Around 1 mega ohm. In the order of mega ohms, it will be there. That's why answer will be yes. So, in the introduction point of view, little one or one or two questions I'm taking. After that, what a topic I'm going to take, I'll explain. Okay, right. Let us take one more question here. CRO cathode ray oscilloscope cannot be used to measure. Sir, with the CRO, we can measure voltage, frequency, phase shift, time period and all. But power cannot be measured. So that's why out of all these, frequency we can measure, phase we can measure, voltage anyway it is elect volta voltmeter only we can say. That's why which we cannot measure means Power we cannot measure. So out of four options, which is suitable? Power is suitable answer. Clear? Right. Let us take one more question. Right. Sir, in a CRO, a sinusoidal waveform of a certain frequency is displayed. Means some waveform is displayed. Okay. Right. The value of the quantity that can be made out by observation, kindly concentrate, this plays the major role. This plays the major role. Here, if you see the options, sir, people are saying that, sir, everything can be measured. Yes, everything can be calculated, everything can be obtained. But my question is, by the observation, which is possible, means if the waveform is displayed, by looking at that waveform, what we can get? By observing that waveform, what we can get? That is what he's asking. Okay, suppose, let me take CRO screen like this. It is a CRO screen. For example, here, sine waveform is displayed like this. Okay, sine wave is displayed. Now tell me, by looking at this plot, what you can get? Sir, RMS value. Just by observing this, can you give its RMS value? No. Why? RMS value formula is V maximum by root 2. Calculation is required. Average value. Is it? No, it is a full cycle. For example, 2 Vm by pi mod. No, it is also cal by the calculation. And the form factor of the sine wave, it is anyway, right? Based on the half cycle or full cycle, we can get it. But by the observation, straight away, which is possible, guys? Peak to peak. Sir, just by seeing this, here, plus 4, for example. Here, minus 4, for example. We can say peak to peak value is 8. In that way, we can say. So that's why among the available 4 options, which is suitable? Yes, peak to peak value of the given waveform. These are few basic questions related to the basic concept. But in this today's session, in this today's session, I am going to take the modes of operation. I am going to take modes of operation. CRO is operated in two modes of operation, or CRO has two modes of operation. One is called as sweep mode, second one is called as non-sweep mode. Sir, what is sweep mode? Means, 
the given wave form will be generated. Means, suppose if you are given the sine wave, yes, sine wave will be generated. Means, the wave form magnitude variation with respect to time will be displayed. After the display, we can measure V peak to peak. Suppose one wave form is there, for example, one wave form is there, for example, like this. Peak to peak, we can measure. After that, by two, V peak, we can calculate. After that, by root two, we can calculate RMS. Like that, many parameters can be observed or measured. Second mode is non-sweep mode. Second mode is non-sweep mode. In that non-sweep mode, we are going to get a pattern, a figure called as Lissage's figure. Example, ellipse or circle or straight line, inclined, right side or left side, etc. This simple idea. I am showing everything here. Two modes of operation, right? One is a sweep mode. This sweep mode is also called as YT mode. And the corresponding plot is called as YT plot. Okay. And non-sweep mode that is called as XY mode. Correspondingly plot is called as XY plot. We can say. Okay. So in this sweep mode, what we are going to get? In this sweep mode, we are going to get the plot called as magnitude variations with respect or amplitude variations with respect to time. We can say here display of amplitude variation with respect to time. And the plot is called as YT plot. Means simple logic I'm saying. Suppose we are applying the sine wave. Sine wave will be displayed. Sine wave is displayed means the amplitude variation is with respect to time available or not. Not only the definition of this one. And sir, after the display, what we are going to measure means I told you know, V peak to peak we can measure. Then by two, V peak we can measure. Then by root two, V RMS we can measure. If you go by x axis, time period can be, can be measured. And then frequency also can be measured 1 by time period equal to frequency. Look at here. Measurement of V peak to peak, V peak, V RMS, time period and frequency. All these can be measured with the corresponding sweep mode plot or YT plot we can say. Right, okay. Second one. What is the second one? Non-sweep mode. So what do you mean by non-sweep mode? Sir, non-sweep mode is nothing but XY mode. Non-sweep mode nothing but XY mode. In this, whatever the display we are getting, that is called as Lissage's figure. What is it? I am going to take. And after this Lissage's figure display, we are going to have measurement of two parameters. One is frequency measurement. Other one is phase measurement. So this is a simple introduction regarding modes of operation in the CRO. But this is a very lengthy topic. That's why in this today's session, what I'm going to cover is non-sweep mode. Of course, sweep is there, non-sweep is there. But in this today's session, I'm going to take what is non-sweep mode, right? The corresponding measurement of phase and frequency, how will it be there? Everything I'm going to take now. So let us start non-sweep mode. After that, in this non-sweep mode, measurement of frequency questions, measurement of phase questions also will be taken so that you can get the complete idea about non-sweep mode. Then we'll be going for digital altimeter. But in the previous SSC JE papers, if you go through them, more questions are possible from the CRO, but only one or two times the question was present from digital altimeter. That's why correspondingly the topic also will be taken in this today's session. Clear? Now let us start the topic that is non-sweep mode. Non-sweep mode. Right, sir. Very, very simple. Sir, in this non-sweep mode, right, what will be the X plates and Y plates corresponding waveform? Let us write that first. Sir, in this non-sweep mode, right, X and Y, both the plates, X and Y, both the plates are connected to the given input. Let me take sign is given. Yes, sign. So therefore, simply given waveform. Assume that we are giving the sine waveform. Yes, sine will be there. Means 
the electron beam is passing through the two plates where vertical plates are connected to sine wave that is y plates horizontal plates are connected to sine wave only then the electron beam is getting a shape that shape that figure name is called as lissajous figure so therefore what we can write here displayed figure displayed figure is called as lissajous figure this is the simple introduction regarding which one non sweep mode in this non sweep mode how the display will be there with respect to the corresponding different phase angles how the display will be there that complete summary mode i'm giving after that we are going to measure the corresponding parameter that's why the simple point i'm taking here sir x plate means the sine wave is given and we are operating under non sweep mode automatically vertical plate that is y plate and horizontal plate that is x plates both are connected to given sine wave only therefore the produced figure is called as lissajous figure am i clear right now sir in this what are the lissajous figures available and what is the corresponding angle based lissajous figure that everything i am going to give you in a single notation what is that sir i am taking here four quadrant right representation i am taking right here <clears throat> sir this is 0 degrees or we can say 360 degrees axis and this is plus 90 degrees and this one is plus 180 degrees this one is plus 270 degrees and plus 360 degrees everyone knows right now sir if you are providing if we are providing the different phase shifts how the display will be there everything i'm giving in single figure so that you will be having each and everything from this corresponding figure what is that sir i'm taking the cro screen here i'm taking the cro screen nothing but if you are providing the phase shift of zero if you are providing the phase shift of zero between x and y plate wave forms what is the display that cro screen i'm showing here okay after that suppose if you are providing if you are providing 0 to 90 if you are providing 0 to 90 not 0 not 90 between 0 and 90 what will be the corresponding display i am going to show in that suppose if i am providing if i am providing corresponding 90 degrees display nothing but whatever the screen is there that i am showing on the corresponding angle axis to have the easy idea and here here to here what is it 90 to 180 and here if you are providing 180 degrees displacement or 180 degrees phase we can say and here 180 to 270 270 degrees and here 270 to 360 nothing but in this single figure i am going to show what we are going to get as a lissajous figure with the provision of different phase shifts okay now sir if 0 degrees phase shift is provided 0 degrees phase shift is provided we are going to get the lissajous figure as straight line inclined to right side straight line inclined to right side okay suppose we are providing 30 degrees shift 60 degrees shift 90 degrees 55 degrees shift or 80 degrees shift up to 90 degrees what will be there means simply we are going to get ellipse shape like this okay and if you are providing if you are providing exactly 90 we are going to get circle we are going to get circle here and sir above 90 above 90 ellipse and exactly 180 0 and 180 yes opposite 0 and 180 opposite 
I told you already, the entire thing will be in terms of SSC JE level only. In the, in the SSC JE level, what is the corresponding shape is enough? How it is produced? What is the internal manufacturing construction not required? That's why I am giving in that note only. So kindly get it clarified. And after 180, again, it will become ellipse. And 270, it will be having the circle. And after 270, again, ellipse here. Like this. So this is the corresponding total thing. With this figure, if you are having this entire diagram with you, any question on this phase differences, all questions you can answer happily. Right? See, it's very easy to remember. If you know the sign values, it's very, very easy to remember. That's why I'm giving simple straight away, or you can see it is a shortcut technique also, you can see, simple. Sir, sign 0, 0, so therefore, sign 0, 0, right? So therefore here, right, there is no gap, one straight line will be there like this. Sign 0, 0, it will be like this. Sign 30, 1 by 2, sign 60, 0.866 means root 3 by 2 means value is increasing. As value is increasing, how to remember? Yes, it will become expanded like this. Simple. If you know the sign values, yes, all the diagrams will be very easy to remember. That is, here, both lines will be like this, here, like this. And sign 30, sign 60, sign 70, like this, it is keep on getting expanded. What will be the maximum expansion? Circle. So therefore, sign 90 means circle. Sign 90 itself is a maximum value 1. Yes, maximum. After sign 90, sign 120 less than 1. Sign 150 further less. Sign 180 0. So therefore, as it is going towards less value means the compression will be started. Compression, compression, compression. Compression will be started. That's what the point. After that sign 180, the value is again increased in the negative way. Yes, it is again expanded. Sign 270 minus 1. So therefore, again circle, right? After that, 270 to 360, the sign value will be again going towards zero. Therefore, compression, compression, compression. Very, very simple. But after this, everyone supposed to remember, or everyone supposed to remember here is, the point is here, <clears throat> sir, these plots will be in clockwise tracing, clockwise tracing. Right? These three, nothing but 0 to 180 phase shift we are providing. The corresponding plots will be having the tracing of, having the tracing of clockwise. This is the tracing of the corresponding Lissages figure. And this is exactly opposite, anti-clockwise tracing. Anti-clockwise tracing. So with this entire thing, we are going to have the corresponding, what is it, measurement, etc. But this is the display of the Lissages figure. Okay. Sir, so after this display of Lissages figure, I told you two measurements can be done. What are the two measurements? One is the phase measurement, other one is the frequency measurement. So therefore, I am taking now, I am taking now, what is it? Phase measurement. phase measurement from Lissages figures only. But my question is, see this entire thing, sir, if this line is there, you can straight away say 0, no confusion. If this line is there, 180. This circle is there with clock, 90. Circle is there with anti-clock, 270. But problem here is, sir, this ellipse is given. Sir, it is a 0 to 90, we know. But is it 30 or 35? or 60, or 65, we don't know. Here also, is it 120, or 130, or 150, we don't know. Like that, sir, for this, 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 and this, ellipses, we know the range 0 to 90, 90 to 180, 180 to 270, 270 to 360, we know. But we don't know exact value that for that purpose only, I'm taking the phase measurement concept. So how do we take the phase measurement, you know? Very simple. Sir, I am taking two plots as usual. Right? This is corresponding CRO screen. Corresponding CRO screen. 
here also yes two models i'm taking right sir why two examples you know check it here sir this is the ellipse inclined right side check it here. inclined right side right side but this is the ellipse inclined left side and left side okay so therefore right side one figure left side one figure i'm taking that is what i am drawing the figure now sir ellipse inclined right side okay ellipse inclined left side inclined right side inclined left side again you may be getting the doubt sir why only ellipse why not circle i am repeating that point circle either 90 or 270 it is value is directly known clockwise is there 90 anti clockwise is there 270 we know the value directly that's why no headache at all that's why focus more on this what is it suppose right it may be clock or anti clock no need to worry sir in this what is the procedure you know kindly concentrate sir here to here or here as you wish no problem this value i am taking as b means wherever the ellipse is cutting the y axis that is b here also the ellipse is cutting the y axis that i am taking as b and major axis of the ellipse point is this so therefore i am extending this point right this is the cutting point along with this major axis if you draw the major axis line like this that i am taking as a here also same thing this is the major axis no from this point this cutting point from here to here i am taking as a i am taking as a now very simple sir phi is equal to sin inverse b by a sin inverse b by a here also phi is equal to sin inverse b by a sir why b b by a means sin maximum value is 1 sin value is always less than or equal to 1 only from 0 to 1 we can say that's why small by large b by a small by large b by a so that it is not more than 1 but sir sin inverse b by a sin inverse b by a both are looking same but how can you differentiate this is right side this is left side means exactly exactly opposite function is there that's why sir how to follow that you know very simple sir observe here sir this is right side inclined this is right side inclined so therefore between these two which is the reference axis 360 so therefore i'm writing 360 plus or minus 360 plus or minus now tell me sir 360 plus axis means this is the quadrant in this quadrant what is the plot tracing clockwise so that's why plus symbol should be used when clockwise tracing is given in the figure okay sir check it again 360 minus axis is the fourth quadrant i hope everyone knows this basic mathematics point first quadrant is 360 plus quadrant fourth quadrant is 360 minus quadrant so in the 360 minus notation anti-clockwise tracing so therefore this should be used when anti-clockwise is there clear in the same way here also sir left side inclined left side inclined check it left side left side so what is the middle axis 180 so therefore let us write 180 plus or minus let us write 180 plus or minus okay sir 180 plus 180 plus axis means which axis this is 180 plus axis this is the anti-clockwise tracing 180 plus nothing but anti-clockwise tracing so therefore this is anti-clockwise tracing clear right sir what is 180 minus axis that is second quadrant so therefore which tracing nothing but plot tracing is clockwise if you follow this everything will be done so this is the complete discussion regarding how to measure how to measure the corresponding phase from the given corresponding plots 
right? If the plot is given, we can get the angle. If the angle is given, we can identify the corresponding plot also. This is the basic concept regarding phase measurement. Clear? Now, after that, we'll see the questions later. Now, second one is frequency measurement. We have taken phase measurement to formula. Second one is Frequency measurement from which plot? Lissage's figure. Frequency measurement. Frequency measurement. Sir, for this also straight away formula is there, guys. What is that? Right? I am taking one tangential method approach that is FH by FV is nothing but FX by FY. F H by F V nothing but F X by F Y is equal to is equal to what is a formula? These two are just formula based concept nothing more than that. What is that? Number of vertical tangencies. Number of vertical tangencies by by number of horizontal tangencies. This is the general formula. Number of vertical tangencies by number of horizontal tangencies. But you are supposed to concentrate more on this. I have taken F H by F V. F H by F V. Here, V by H, reverse notation. Frequency of horizontal plate waveform to the vertical plate waveform equal to number of vertical tangencies by number of horizontal tangencies. So these two are the measurement of measurement of phase as well as frequency. From which one? Lissage's figure. Clear, guys? Now, with this entire formula, now I am going to take few questions, then you will get more and more clarity. How to get a phase, how to get the corresponding frequency measurement and all. The two, what is a tangency, everything I am going to take with the numerical question. Now let us take the question here. The point is, <clears throat> here I am taking first question is nothing but phase measurement question. After that, we will be taking frequency measurement questions also. Then we will be going for the next topic, digital voltmeter. Clear guys? Check it. Horizontal input to a scope is EM sin omega t 30 degrees. What is it? EM sin omega t plus 30 degrees. Okay. What is the Lissage's pattern in that CRO? What is the Lissage's pattern in that CRO? The point here is in this entire thing, in this entire thing, out of all this, out of all this, the question is horizontal input to a scope is horizontal input to a scope nothing but horizontal plate is connected to this one in the same way if nothing is mentioned if nothing is mentioned how can we answer here simple logic vertical horizontal nothing is given in this also the question will be given straight away sir how much phase shift is there how much phase shift is there 30 but sir, people getting doubt like, sir, vertical plate shift is not given, no. So simple logic, always the given with respect to some phase shift, nothing other is not given means zero we are su supposed to assume. Therefore, 30 degrees phase shift. Out of all these, which is suitable? Sir, this is anyway zero degrees. This is anyway 90 or 270. This is, which side? Left side inclined means 90 to 180. But how much is the phase shift here? 30. That's why without bothering about any other data, simply what is it here? 30 degree shift is there. Automatically, what is the answer? Yes. First option. So therefore, straight away, ellipse right side inclined. Ellipse right side inclined. But for your clarity purpose, I'm giving, sir, this is answer 0 degrees. Here it will be 90 degrees or 270 degrees. And here this will be 90 degrees to 270 degrees. Why? 90 to 180, 
or 180 in that way let us write 90 degrees to 180 degrees 180 degrees to 270 degrees nothing but not 180 not 270 here also not 90 not 180 simply in between that so he is asking 30 so therefore in these type of questions don't worry that other waveform is not given etc straight away 30 is given choose the corresponding answer in this way also question will be given right let us take one more question the Lissage's pattern observed on the screen of CRO is a straight line kindly concentrate is a straight line inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to the x-axis means it is a straight line to the x-axis 45 degrees means right side inclined simple logical simply straight line right side inclined if the voltage applied to the x plate is x plate how much is applied to sine omega t is applied then the voltage applied to them y plate will be very simple guys sir which is displayed straight line the two 45 degrees to the positive x axis so what does it mean if this is the cro screen right this is the axis this is the x axis and this is y axis okay what is produced or what is displayed here a line which is 45 degrees to the x axis 45 degrees to the x axis so if it is 45 degrees to the x axis what is the corresponding angle between those two zero phase shift so therefore so how much 45 degrees to the corresponding thing here two sine omega t is there other also should have same phase it should not be having any phase displacement check it 45 wrong 45 wrong minus 45 or something wrong so therefore answer will be yes sin 45 clear everyone in that way x wave form and y wave form both are not having any phase displacement then only will be having the corresponding straight line very simple question clear but lengthy data is given guys don't get don't get afraid of the question kindly go through that very simple conclusion right now, next question two sinusoidal signals having the same amplitude and frequency are applied to x and y inputs of crvo the observed lissage's figure is a straight line the observed lissage's figure is a straight line the phase shift between the two signals would be but in this only has given straight line only straight line but it is inclined right side or left side he has not given then which will be the corresponding angle now i'm giving 30 seconds of time those who are on the line kindly tell me those who are on the line kindly answer i'm observing your answers kindly let me know What is the answer for this? Right? Now, so answer is either 0 or 180. Sir, why? In this question, he has not mentioned right side inclined or left side inclined. He has not given. So, straight away, answer will be either 0 or 180 degrees. But here, only zero correct only but if this third option is not there then first option is correct but third option zero angle 180 degrees both are acceptable then yes answer will be this yes mohini mohi zero degrees you are correct ma zero degrees correct only but 180 degrees also possible and sabavat hanmantu yes answer c correct right zero degrees correct only but 180 is also correct that's why which is suitable here third option option c right next an oscilloscope is operated in xy mode xy mode means lissage's figure mode the below given ellipse is the below given ellipse is right observed on the screen 
द फेज डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ इनपुट सिग्नल्स इज सिंपल लॉजिक गाइस इट इज एन एलिप्स विच साइड लेफ्ट साइड इंक्लाइंड लेफ्ट साइड इंक्लाइंड ओके सो इट इज लेफ्ट साइड इंक्लाइंड सो अमंग दोस टू व्हिच इज अ सूटेबल एंगल व्हिच इज अ सूटेबल एंगल सर हियर इट इज अ 330 150 30 एज वेल एज 210 डिग्रीज 210 डिग्रीज नो द क्वेश्चन हियर इज इन दिस एंटायर थिंग राइट right kindly concentrate here in this entire thing in this entire thing you need to observe that the what is the angle given here what is the tracing he has given he will be mentioning clock or anti clock just i am taking clockwise sign sin inverse 1 by 2 sin inverse small value is 1 large value is 2 so therefore what is that phase shift sin inverse right 1 by 2 so sin inverse 1 by 2 is how much 30 degrees okay but sir this is inclined left side left side means what is the angle we have to take 180 the two he has given actually it is not printed it is given clockwise if it is given as clockwise what is it minus a sign so automatically 180 minus 30 what is the answer 150 degrees that's why to confuse you 150 is given 210 also given if you take the plus sign 210 will be there but the plus sign should be taken for anti clock but here it is clockwise so straight away 150 degrees is the answer clear right now let us take one more yes sabavat hanmantu yes you are given 150 very good right nice let us take one more question the x input and y input to a cro r phi cos phi cos omega t plus phi and phi sin omega t plus phi respectively what will be the resulting lissajous pattern again i am giving the time kindly try to answer but there are more chances for this question especially there are more chances to give the wrong answer that's why i am giving this try to give the answer guys those who are on the line come on straight line ellipse circle or horizontal line which is more suitable chance is there if you don't observe the question properly there is a chance of giving the wrong answer try to answer right here sir phi sir phi people are thinking that sir phi and phi no phase difference so therefore straight line sir no you need to observe clearly it is given as cosine it is given as sin so indirectly 90 degrees is there 90 degrees is there automatically what is the answer circle is the answer that's why right. to confuse you first option is given as straight line only why means sir phi and phi will think that there is no phase displacement no guys one is a cosine one is a sin already 90 degrees is given in that so that's why answer will be circle clear right next question two sine waves of the same frequency are impressed on the x and y plates so sine wave is given to x and y plate means yes non sweep mode only today's session i told you know only non sweep mode yes i have taken the questions for non sweep mode only by crvo and the lissajous figure seen is shown in the diagram so this is a lissajous figure okay the phase difference between the signals is sir in this question he has not given clockwise tracing or anti clockwise tracing he has not given but y1 by y2 means small value y1 large value y2 means according to the question b by a 0.5 is given 0.5 means 1 by 2 1 by 2 means 30 is the general value but be clear 30 degrees 330 degrees 150 degrees 210 degrees 30 330 150 30 or 330 only 30 everything is available with confusing mode that's why first point sir is it right side inclined or left side inclined right side inclined right side inclined means what is the answer 0 to 90 will be there or 270 to 360 
but here 150 is there so this is wrong okay here 150 is there it is also wrong but sir 30 is there 330 is there correct 30 is also there but among these two which is correct means in this question clock or anti-clock both are not given that's why what is the answer here 5 is equal to 360 plus or minus sin inverse what is the value 0 0.5 0 0.5 means 1 by 2 so answer here is 360 plus or minus 30 360 plus or minus 30 means 360 plus 30 30 only 390 or 30 we can say we can say 30 degrees and 330 degrees so this is the answer both are possible suppose if they have given clockwise anti clock then the answer will be only one but here not given so therefore yes answer will be both option c it is also wrong why he has not given only what is it clock or anti clock clear right next question yes very good people have given the answer option c very good right next one <coughs> Right. This is the question related to frequency. What is that? In an oscilloscope, two Lissajous figures, X and Y are observed. Okay, two figures he, have, he has given. This indicates the ratio of vertical input signal frequency to vertical horizontal input frequency. These are the options. What is it? Vertical to horizontal. Vertical to horizontal. FV by FH. Okay. Sir, here very simple. First figure, I am taking the first figure. Sir, I gave the formula, but how to approach I am giving now? Sir, draw the horizontal tangency, nothing but, sorry, draw the horizontal tangent, either on the top or bottom side as you wish, but you need to do tangent. Okay, tangent, one place it is touching, one tangency, right? And here, right? This is one more tangency and this is one more tangency. How many tangencies are there horizontally? Three. And if we draw vertically this place and this place. How many? Two places. Therefore, horizontal tangency is three. Vertical tangency is two. Okay. So, therefore, the point here is, sir, first figure. Fv by Fh he is asking. What is it? Vertical to the horizontal he is asking. Fv by Fh. All I told you, V by H means tangency should be taken. H by V model. Therefore, horizontal 3, vertical 2. So, answer will be 3 by 2. Straight up, very, very simple topic. Right now, for second figure. Second figure. So, same thing. Draw the tangent here horizontally like this. Sir, this must be taken as one tangent. Generally, this can be or this should be taken as half a tangent. Half a tangency we can say. Why? It is, the, it is providing the closed path. Therefore, generally we say in the simplified way, one tangent. But it is providing the open path. That's why we say half a tangency. That's why horizontal side, how many tangents are there? One plus half, one and half. And vertical side, vertical side, how many? One. So therefore, simply Fv by Fh. Fv by Fh. What is Fv by Fh? Horizontal by vertical. Horizontal, one and a half. Vertical, one. So therefore, 1.5 by 1. So nothing but 3 by 2. So both the given figures are having the frequency ratio of 3 by 2 only. Check it here. 5 by 3, wrong. 3 by 2, 5 by 3, wrong. 5 by 3, 5 by 3, wrong. So 3 by 2, 3 by 2. Yes, both the plots. Answer will be yes. What is it? 3 by 2 and 3 by 2. Clear? Right. Let us take one more question on the frequency calculation. A screen pattern oscillogram shown in the given figure. Yes, this is the figure. Okay. Obtain when a sine wave signal of unknown frequency is connected to vertical 
unknown is connected to vertical okay unknown is vertical but 600 is connected to horizontal so f h is given 600 he is asking what is the value of unknown unknown frequency means f v he is asking f v he is asking these are the values okay same procedure again right f v by f h is equal to f v by f h is equal to horizontal tangencies by vertical tangencies sir draw here only horizontal tangencies 1 2 horizontal tangencies 2 so let me write 2 and sir vertical tangencies draw the vertical tangent and count touching points 1 2 and 3 so 3 so answer here is simply 2 by 3 2 by 3 clear so answer here is f v is equal to f h into 2 by 3 f h is given as 600 into 2 by 3 you will be getting 400 hertz so this is the simple thing regarding the entire non-sweep mode yes out of this what is the answer here right 400 so therefore answer will be 400 hertz okay this is the total discussion regarding the entire topic called CRO okay now let us take one more topic I told you know that is digital voltmeter that is digital voltmeter what is a digital voltmeter can you focus sir digital voltmeter it is nothing but it is giving the value in terms of seven segment code display in this digital voltmeter analog signal is being converted into digital so adc analog to digital converters are used what are the advantages of digital voltmeter means it is having high speed good resolution high accuracy high sensitivity less errors or we can say zero frictional errors etc all are advantages only related to the digital voltmeter but according to the SSC J level model actually only one or two questions were present in the previous papers but we may be expecting more in the coming years that's why we should not leave this topic also that's why I'm focusing this topic also as an important topic because even one question is there straight away very very simple but sir in the digital voltmeter chapter what type of or different types of voltmeters are these? Three digit DVM, three and a half digit DVM, four digit, four and a half digit DVM. Three digit, three and a half, four digit and four and a half digit DVM. Now in order to understand this very very simple concept, in being, sir, here, so three digit DVM. So what is the meaning of three digit DVM? First one. three digit dvm okay sir three digit dvm sir how it looks like from what value to what value we are going to get so that is sir three digits will be there here right sir starting display zero 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 will be there zero can go up to nine 0 can go up to 9, so up to 9. So therefore, how many number of counts will be there? Triple 0 to triple 9. So that's why what we can say? 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 1. Like this, keep on going, keep on going. Up to which value? 9, 9 and 9. So finally again, going back to 0, 0. There is no thousand, there is no one triple zero by only three digits. So therefore, in this thousand counts are possible. In this thousand counts are possible. Clear? Now, so this is three digit meaning. Okay, after that. Sir, second one is and a half digit. Three and a half digit DVM. So three and a half digit DVM means very important point is sir three digit three digit means as usual earlier point only that is this right zero 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 
it can go up to 9, up to 9 and up to 9. Yes, this is 3 digit. But 3 plus half, one half is added extra. One half is added extra. So therefore, this is called as addition of half a digit. So what do you mean by half a digit? Be clear guys, this is very important point here. Half a digit means it will, right? Give either only either 0 or 1 only, not 2, 3, 4, 5, not possible. Only either 0 or 1 only. If a digit is designed to give 0 or 1 only, then that digit is called as then the digit is called as half a digit. 0 to 9, 0 to 9, 0, to nine, of course, full digit. That's why I am giving here. These three are called as full digits. And this is called as half a digit. This is called as half a digit. Clear? Sir, in this, four zeros to, right? Zero, 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 one. It will be going up to which value? Zero, nine, nine, nine. But after that, as this half a digit is there, zero will become one. Yes, one triple zero. And again, it will be going up to which value? 1999. Again, going back to 000. So, how many counts are there in this? 2000 counts will be there. 2000 counts will be there. Same logic. Whatever the three digit and whatever the three and a half you have taken, same thing will be there with respect to four and four and a half also. 4 and 4 and half. What is the point here? One more digit will be there. One more 0 to 1 more 9. There are 10,000 counts. Here also, here, one more digit will be there here. 4 digit plus. So therefore, 1, 4, 9s. It will be 2,000 counts. Very, very simple. That's why you are supposed to focus on 3 digit and 3 and half digit DVM. Then automatically, you will be getting idea about 4 and 4 and half digit also. Clear? Now, let us have one question on this, very simple question. Sir, three and a half digit DVM will be having the corresponding which value, etc. Or half a digit incremental, etc. Related to that question. In a digital voltmeter, overranging implies, means extension of range. The meaning of this is extension of range. So extension of range means half a digit is to be added or half a digit is to be removed, added simply. The next four digits start to be switched on, not mandatory. Half a digit is switched off, wrong. Half a digit is switched on, yes, correct. So simply answer will be like this. In this way only SSCJ level questions will be there. Right? Next one. Sir, here. Very simple. In a three and a half digit voltmeter, the largest number that can be read is three and a half. Three and a half means simply you are supposed to understand, right? Three full digits and one half. It will go up to nine, up to nine, nine here. This is zero becomes one. So therefore, maximum display will be how much value? One triple nine. So check it here. Obviously, one triple nine. Clear guys? So this is the total discussion. Yes, this is the total discussion for this today's session. So kindly focus here, right? This is the total idea about non-sweep mode as well as digital voltmeter. Very simple idea I gave you. In your SSC JE level, these type of questions only will be there. Okay. In the gate level, etc. And correspondingly, error calculation, etc. will be there. But for you people, in the three digit, what is a maximum? In the three and half digit, what is a maximum? Etc. will be there. Okay. So this is the total thing related to the today's session. I hope all you have understood this topic. And tomorrow we are having one more session on this measurement subject. In the tomorrow session, I'll be coming with a topic called transducers. In that also, basics of transducers only will be there. So what are the basic ideas? And then I will be taking one specific topic. We will be concluding with the questions and all. Clear, guys? Right. I hope everyone understood this. Everyone enjoyed the session. Thank you. All the best.